Банде Гуру Пададандам Бхакта Бинда Саманитам Шри Чайтанна Прахум Банде Нитананда Саходитам Си Нанданананан Ван Чакал Падару Вашаки Пасинду Бевача Патитанам Пабуни Бхавишна Вибью Наму Нама Мукан Карути Вачалам Пангун Лам Хайтагирим Ядки Патамахангаванди Шна Бхакти Паде Деви Саттава Твей Наму Нама Мукан Карути Бача Лан Пангун Лан Хайти Гирим Ядки Пата Маханга Банде Парама Ананда Малва Брандавай Тулси Депой Пиявай Кесева Сача Шна Бхакти Паде Деви Саттава Твей Наму Нама Нараяна намаскрита наранча ивана раттама Девинг сарасватинг вясам тату жайо мудире Шанкита не кишна кату подиши Гаурия патрашо пракаса неча Садану ракта гуру факти юкта Бхакти прамадакша жагот барана Дейям сада пари бабагна бабишту духом, Дейтас падам сива вринчану там сараньям, Бейтатихам, Бейтатихам понатвал бабад дипутам, Банде махапуршате чаруна равиндам, Ят пада паллавана качандамани чатая, Биспуржита кима пикабаваду Пурнанга Рагара Сасагара Сарамурти Чарадхи Камай Када Кифан Крос Си Кришна Чайтанна Прабхунита Ананд Си Аддайка Када Дарасива Садихи Гаура Бхакта Бин Си Кришна Чайтанна Прабхунита Ананд Си Аддайка Када Дарасива Садихи Гаура Бхакта Бин Хари Кришна, Хари Кришна, Кришна Кришна, Хари Хари, Хари Рам, Хари Рам, Рам Рам, Хари. Аджану ламбита бхуджо канака бодато, Шанкиртануи капитару камала ютакшо. Вишам бару дича бару югадар мапало банде ягат прия кару каруна бхатару Хари Кришна Хари Кришна 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 Хари 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 Рам Хари Рам 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 Хари Нама миганге таба пад панкаджам сура сурайр бандито ди барупам бхуктин чамуктин чадада синитам бабану рупе калапам Гаури нирантара бибуши табам вагам Нараяну приямананга мада пахарам Барану сипурапати бхаджави шанатам Ваги саджушу бадане Лакшмир Вам, Нишинга, Мамбаджи, 
हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्ण तदीय पंकजो पद पंकजो पंजरांत अदैव मन में विशतु मन सराज हंस प्राण प्रयाण समय काफ बात वित्वई कंठावरो धनो विदो भजनम कुतस्ते कृष्ण तदीय पद पंकजो पंजरांत अदैव मे विशतु मनसो राज हंस प्राण प्रयाण समय काफ बात वित्वई कंठावरोधन विदो भजनम कुतोस्ते भजनम कुतोस्ते गौड़ी गोष्ठी पति शिशिल गौड़ी गोष्ठी पति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमहंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड That were Krishna Vimukh, whosoever is there, everyone has. To, we have to quit. We have to leave. Whosoever is there, whether he is mine only, he is my relatives. Everyone is there. Gauri Goshti Pati Shri Shri Lakshmi Siddhant Saraswati Ko Swami Thakur Prabhupad Paramesh Jagat Guru told that whosoever our relatives are there. Who are actually or God we mock, then we have to leave them. We definitely have to leave them. Why? Because these people are in the way of bhajan. Whatever vitals are there of our bhajan, everything they will eat up. They are like kushti, like like lot of people, like a person is taking lot of good food, but that nutri nutritious food. is actually not uh, getting into his body all the insects inside the body they are eating it up so they will take all the vitals so whatever he is eating there is of no use because all insects are eating that just to do harina in asat sang that is not at all possible in asat sang asat sang is in order you are in asat sang to do harina it is not at all possible जगदानंद पंडित हैज रिटर्न दिस इन असत्संग हरिनाम कैन नॉट बी पॉसिबल वाई वेदर दैट इज अ लॉट ऑफ एक्सटेंसिव असत्संग आर देयर मे बी इंटरनली एक्सटर्नली ऑल द टाइम वेयर 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 यू विल गो एवरी वेयर देयर इज असत्संग एंड असत्संग व्हाट यू कैन डू दैट्स व्हाई यू आर नॉट गेटिंग सत्संग and when satsang you are not getting that's why harinam is not possible for you actual harinam if you want to do actual harinam you have to ensure that whether my satsang will definitely be there wherever i am there that otherwise it is not possible shila prabhupa ji samban actually asking question gorya goshti bhi shila bhakti siddhant saraswati ko swami thakur prabhupa Someone is Paramanshu Jagadguru has some devotee has asking some question. When we will be just thinking and will be taking that Sri Krishna Sri Hari Nam is Sakshat Krishna. When we will get to know this point, someone asking question, but Prabhupada actually answering him that you see that Hari Nam and the Nam and the Bhagwan and the Nami himself is not different from each other. They are not different. Was to object when there are will be unearth inside our heart in hidden form. Up till that point, it is not possible to get that object. In Bangla Katha, I have just uh, spoken a lot of about this about unearth. I am just discussing there very extensive preaching. There should be there. It should be there. What is actually an earth? 
हाउ ऑन अर्थ वी हैव टू कट दैट एवरीथिंग ओवर एंड ओवर आई एम जस्ट स्पीकिंग हरी कथा जस्ट लाइक ऑर्केस्टर इज गोइंग ऑन सम म्यूजिक इज गोइंग ऑन लाइक दिस हरी कथा गोइंग ऑन इट इज नॉट लाइक दैट to just to make sure we are just putting a light on those serious discussions we have to put some serious light on these discussions so that our unearth when our unearth is there inside our material mind then it is not uh, the actual position which we can get but when the unearth is gone from the material mind then especially that we can realize that point we can get this uh, realization krishna naam that krishna naam when we are doing niraprad without any aprad when we are doing krishna naam when you are uh, mukt from aprad when there is no aprad inside your heart whether in order to get aprad mukt was then to do hari naam it is very much difficult but still it is possible by the kripa of guru vishnu krishna naam by doing niraprad when you are speaking that without any aprad then definitely you can understand this point that up till what point this is true you can understand on your own that up till what point this is true then you will be without aprad you are doing hari naam when you will come to that situation of niraprad when you will be doing hari naam in that condition then definitely you will be understanding this point automatically that by shri hari naam all the kind of siddhis are just coming in your hands bhagwan will give that by shri hari naam bhagwan will give infinity whatever you want but devotees actually don't want anything bhagwan will give everything in your hand by just taking naam slowly steadily all those anarth after the anarth will be removing then only shri naam will definitely manifest his qualities leela gun parikar parishparshad everything will manifest in front of us proper speaking and whatever just by our own artificially we will just be doing doing a remembrance of roop leela etc we can't do that those uh, by putting pressure on hari naam in order to remember the leela it is not at all possible just by artificially just you are making uh, efforts to do hari naam and you are just remembering the bhagwan's uh, uh, leela that is called kapat bhav with that kirtyam bhav if you are you are just artificially are doing all this group uh, on leela that you don't need to do it is called kapat bhav those people who are actually doing hari naam that we should the actual naam you are he is doing for them that that they don't know even about their fine and subtle body they that gapping is not at all there everything is get destroyed whatever there is gapping between subtle and fine body there all is actually getting destroyed and after that slowly steadily they begin can find their eternal swarup inside their atma it means they will get swarup siddhi apna when they will just be getting their siddha swarup after that when they are just speaking hari naam slowly steadily that krishna bhagwan the roop the ap- aprakrit transcendental sachidanand swarup of bhagwan we can just understand we can just see that not we can understand we can see that as well that shri naam is the only way for shri naam prabhu is the only way for all the jeevas to get uh, them established in swarup tattva and they will be just uh, attracting shri krishna towards them and shri naam is the only way by which we can just uh, uh, get our swarup siddhi and we can just get established in uh, krishna swarup and that krishna is just getting attracted towards that jiva and shri krishna naam is uh, full of all qualities and characteristics just by and all the jivas are just getting uh, attracted towards krishna 
and whatever the characteristics of krishna we are just getting attracted to that only hari naam is the only way only shri hari naam is just uh, Uh, making that kind of uh, attraction towards krishna and only we are just getting attraction towards krishna lila by shri naam only whatever points i was just talking at the last yesterday maybe tomorrow or day after maybe i'll be discussing definitely where i there, there i will show you that what is the actual condition of radha rani that just by speaking hari naam what is the actual condition of radha rani etc i will definitely speak this point now but now i will speak something else because some other th- discussion is there so shri naam is swayam actually is uh, making attraction towards krishna swarup and is uh, by doing naam seva by that by doing naam seva just by speaking naam seva just by speaking those who are speaking the hari naam they will by naam seva you mean it means those who are speaking the hari naam the whatever our prayojan uh, tatva is there definitely it will come inside his heart it means that that by doing naam seva by do speaking naam seva if someone is thinking that everything will be getting destroyed it is not like that naam seva those all mahapurush mahapurush all mahajans are there they are by already in naam seva all the time because naam seva just by speaking that that naam uchcharan that person who is speaking hari naam that bhagwat seva is the, is important because prabhupad always used to do naam seva it doesn't mean that he just stop uh, speaking and uh, uh, writing about hari that prayojan tatva etc already are there all the time so whatever uh, prayojan uh, tatv is there it is already all the time there in that only by leaving that what will happen baba prabhupad is doing naam bhajan that's why he will not be doing a dating article everything he will be stopping no not like that by naam seva you mean that just by those who are speaking hari naam all the time with their with their own hari naam whatever anushthan and are related to the bhajan they are already all the time they are doing that with by doing hari naam by the kripa of naam prabhu only everything will be possible everything will get rectified automatically whatever shastra shravan patan whatever he is doing reading writing about the scriptures etc everything and we will get ruchi in hari naam by that automatically uh, we will get uh, that is na- natural process that is naturally possible we will get ruchi in hari naam by that those who are those who shuddh bhakti the actual swarup of shuddh bhakti in order to get uh, established in that that shlok is there shri laruk goswami pad has written i have already discussed it a lot of time before as well in this it is written means what it is written in chaitanya jitamrit in the madhya khand it is speaking what it is written anna puja anna vancha anna puja chai gyan kar chaitanya chaitanya in chaitanya jitamrit madhya lila it is written other other vancha other kind of things and puja you just need to leave what it is written it's written there that uh, anya vacha other kinds of desires which has no connection with krishna seva that kinds of vancha that kind of desires and other kind of puja you are just doing demigod other demigod seva which has no relation with krishna seva everything you just be uh, removing that leaving that with full anukulya with all your sense organs by just taking their help you just need to do krishna anushilan that is called bhakti ruttama so it's very nice that is the thing that is the actual symptom but yesterday we were discussing 
that definitely it is impossible why because first thing is that that to get rid of anya vilas it is not possible and whether it is written in bhagavad gita mahapurana also about this point If some have material desire is there, but still you just need to do Krishna Bhajan only. If some material desire is there, but still, but if it is not there, then it is okay. Harinam is such a object, such a thing that all the kinds of things it will just. remove all kind of contamination will get removed maybe anya vilas is there okay but still definitely you just need to speak krishna naam you just need to call hari naam like rai naam mahashay rai naam anand and there is some sambhad between rai naam anand there is rai naam anand sambhad between mahaprabhu and rai naam anand in that bhagwan shri krishna actually it's written about that it's spoken about spoken about that bhagwan shri krishna speaking bhagwan shri krishna speaking it's like that my krishna is like speaking that if some anya vilas is there inside of that he is uh, uh, thinking of something else that krishna is very merciful very very merciful very karuna mai is krishna is and karuna means that whosoever is just getting into fallen condition whose consciousness is getting dropped just by seeing his uh, uh, wasteful wasteful situation just by seeing that krishna is uh, his that his heart just got melted that is called karuna and daya means that whatever the action after karuna he is doing that is called daya that he is uh, doing that kind of particular action that is called daya now the actual question is coming that what i was speaking that this situation in which situation when we are able to do harinam that is not possible for everyone it is not possible for everyone in this situation just to get into this situation is not possible maybe kaam is there some no 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 desire is there and some desire is there some still he need to do bhajan of krishna because krishna is the only uh, He is taking this responsibility of that person. And other demigods, they are not at all taking the responsibility. They will not take that apart from Krishna. There is actually no one who will take the responsibility other than Krishna. If someone has some material desire or something, still we just need to do Krishna Bhajan only. In Chaitanya Charitamrit, in Rai Ramana Samad, it is written that Krishna is just speaking like this. That I am actually Vigya, but Krishna is definitely Vigya. I am Vigya. I am Vigya. Everyone knows that whatever the result is, but he is actually asking material things. Why I will give him material things? It is written there. I will definitely give him the nectar of his my lotus feet to him. I will be giving the let, nectar of the lotus feet to him, and all the material desires will definitely he will forget that. That's why it is written. That whosoever has some material desire inside his heart, okay, no problem. But still, he need to do Krishna bhajan. He just need to call Krishna. You all the time, you just need to do Krishna bhajan. Krishna naam, you have to do. That is the uh, topmost thing. Those who are doing Krishna bhajan, by that Krishna bhajan, all those fallen people, fallen condition, just get rectified. If with full shraddha that Hari Nam is done, like a Jamil, he has just spoken Hari Nam, just by calling his son, 
but still he just got delivered but if sir, someone is doing harinam with shraddha so what will be the actual result of harinam what can't be done with harinam you see that we are just discussing but when in order to get rid of all material desire it's not possible the third shloka of mahaprabhu we were discussing yesterday on this siddhant only i was just speaking that when there is some inside our heart there is enjoying mood and material desire inside our heart there is some desire inside our heart for enjoying mood up till that point of jeev can't become tranadapi maybe some material desire and enjoying mood is there inside the heart like i am the doer i am the enjoyer i am the doer and that false ego is there up till that point this kind of vichar whatever time it will be there up till that point actual hari naam to, to do actual hari naam is not possible on his tongue that actual hari katha kirtan cannot cannot be possible that bhagwan has already told about this point and prabhupad also speaking in his commentary that inside that person who has enjoying mood inside his heart he cannot give any respect to anyone because he has enjoying mood means that that he has that uh, doership doership inside his heart also definitely that doership will also be that because these are all interrelated with each other that i am doing this that that will that is all interrelated is a common sense so whenever there is some material design enjoying mode is there up till that point definitely he will be not giving respect to others it is not possible for him maybe all the objects he is actually thinking himself as enjoying as a, uh, as a, as enjoying for himself and everyone he will be engaging himself for others in his seva like hiranyakeshpu hiranyakeshpu that five year boy pralad maharaj he is not at all actually un- understanding that he is my child definitely he will be listening to me he was thinking like that but he will not if he will not be listening to me then i will cut him and i will destroy him they kill him this kind of thinking is love krishna nakashpu is like this so this kind this is actually 100% sure that those who have that enjoying mood inside his heart that i am the doer i am enjoying he will they actually want to exploit others and their energy as well exploit means they just want to destroy like britishers britishers they were exp- they used to exploit poor people they don't they used to give them some food and something and i have already heard that that in the china also somebody has told me i don't know about this that maharaj they are they are free of cost government actually is giving job we just need to give do the work of government free of cost that's why they are they can only give this cheap item they will just give food medicine clothes everything is there like this dogs and cats they are making everyone and they are just uh, exploit their energy why if they will be giving very thing everything cheap then everything will get uh, uh, get into the market and like this they are thinking so those that an other energy whatever the actual money and energy of other if you are you are putting in enjoyment and this kind of enjoyment mood is coming that i just want to enjoy that when i want to enjoy something definitely this kind of enjoyment this kind of enjoyment in order to get it successful i just need to see that definitely some energy is in, other energy is involved some one money is involved in this definitely it is involved in this so this is natural actually so that's why in order to do enjoyment and material desire i want to get get successful some money and something some energy is definitely there behind that otherwise my enjoyment is not at all possible 
that uh, material bhog is not at all possible for me it is not possible to me to do material bhog so those who this kind of doership mood is there inside them definitely they will not be able to get rid of uh, material pradeshta and material ego that's why in vaishnav ke prabhupad is speaking that's why prabhupad has written that who the, he is vaishnav kono kavini pradeshta bani chhari achhe jaise kono kamini agar kono kamini who is if you are leaving it but still this pratishtha this pratishtha like a, a lineness you cannot leave that's why prabhupad speaking that those who are enjoyers material enjoyers they are not at all giving respect to others maybe they are giving to some all kind of drama they are doing in the sabha but vishay bhogi is all the time uh, busy in doing enjoying mood and he is actually when he is be seeing others uh, with the enjoying mood definitely he will be feeling jealousy they have matsari inside their heart and in naam bhajan those who are naam bhajan and the vaishnav they are more humbler than the blade of grass and more tolerant than the tree and whatever pratishtha they are all the time distressful in getting pratishtha and they are all the time giving respect to others all the time they are busy in giving respect to others so in this material world this kind of uh, all maha mahajans all the time they are doing harinam this harinam yagya that they have this kind of power capacity to do harinam all the time actual harinam all the time and they have actual uh, uh, power to do that those who are shuddha vaishnav they are according to their own uh, mahajans and gurudev all the time they are giving respect to them and they are glorifying them and they are not at all keeping anything for themselves anagal they are doing continuously spontaneous they are spontaneously they are doing they have given everything to guru work and whatever anugatya people are there then they will be just giving them a lot of enthusiastic mood inside them Yeah. whatever festival etc they want to do they just want to show them about their achran they are actually manifesting their own shuddha behavior pure behavior in front of those anugat sadaks that is the actual behavior of pure guru vishnu natural behavior of pure guru vishnu so only pure guru vishnu apart from them that amani manat cannot be possible for others prabhupad ji has given a nice example regarding this that uh, who has ranad be inside them and who is not what is the actual uh, reason for that everyone can speak like this then what is how you can just uh, make a difference so those who don't have any kind of pratishtha in their life even as don't have any kind of desire to get pratishtha definitely be sure that he is ranadbi definitely is ranadbi now uchcharan kar just those who are taking hari naam they are all the time thinking that in this material world what kind of jeevas different kind of jeevas this like small straw is there they are just thinking themselves that they are more fallen than a straw that is the actual situation it is just to speak it's very easy like this to speak like this is very easy but to get into realization very difficult the pure devotees always they thinking they are not at all guru pure devotees never think themselves as guru and vaishnav they are not at all thinking them like that they always think that they are all all the jeevas are my disciple and all 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 jeevas are my guru all the all all the time they are realizing that everyone is my guru in each and every jeeva they are just thinking that everyone has krishna inside them definitely by thinking like this they don't have uh, they are not thinking that every jeeva is useless and they are just not uh, making any efforts to make other fallen and they are not at all making others that they are in the fallen condition they himself they thinking that they are fallen himself only by 
दोज हु आर टेकिंग ऑल द टाइम वास्तव हरिनाम दैट शुद्ध वैष्णव इन दिस होल मटीरियल वर्ल्ड दे आर नॉट एट ऑल आस्किंग एनी वन फ्रॉम एनी वन दे आर ऑल द टाइम निष्किंचन अकिंचन someone is actually just uh, doing some hinsa and attacking him but still he don't have any kind of uh, still they are just asking mangal of them that is prabhu pad speaking to us i am not speaking prabhu pad actually has written this that mera mera satnam karne wale lot of people want to destroy me if someone wants to destroy me definitely i am still that a mangal should not come from my tank still that person who wants to destroy me who just wants my amangal he wants my destruction but still for them those people also they should get mangal definitely no amangal should get in their life this kind of thing krishna should not do at all it should not come on my tank so in this way prabhupad actually has given this kind of uh, discussion brief discussion that just by a kirtan kari gurudev that whatever that procedure is given to us that pranali we he will not at all leave that whatever gurudev that given has that that actual paddhati he will be doing with full efforts and he will not be doing any kind of new uh, pranali he will not at all accept that they are in this material world lot of uh, new according to their own will and desire they are just doing hari naam and doing kirtan and they are just speaking a new new tune of hari naam all those sahajiyas also are just in, making a new tune for hari naam bol nitai gor hari hari naam from where they get that we don't know what is a nikol what is pratikul this is actually pratikul <laughs> Whatever things are there of this material thing, they all are pratikul for this moment. So this actually, they are just destroying the whole material world, all the material jivas. Those who are just doing, uh, oh, we are doing under the guidance of Guru Dev. Whatever prachar preaching, whatever we are doing. and whatever uh, by doing kirtan and doing uh, granth and vedic uh, shastra we are reading and writing prabhu speaking under the anugaman of gurudev whatever you are glorifying hari naam etc preaching you are preaching in front of the bonded jeevas when you have that target if someone is uh, doing hari katha and whatever is writing different kind of writings kirtan definitely in their life they will get definitely get tranada pibhav but who is doing with kapat bhav that he is going to that nirchan state and going to a silent place and just want to uh, prove that that you see i am such a big vaishnav in this vishya in this prabhupad always used to uh, prohibit these kind of things strictly prohibited this point that that just by taking pratishtha this kind you are going to a nirjan place and whatever you have this kind of uh, uh, easiness that you are doing hari naam in that that is one kind of cheating propensity you are just cheating yourself this is not at all good those who are mahabhagavatam those who are all the time all the savar jangam and aprakrit bhogya murti just by taking the darshan of that krishna and krishna seva they are all the time busy in that and they are just doing the association of this material thing that no object is just for my enjoyment that everything is for the enjoyment of krishna this kind of feeling is there in a mahavishnu they are not at all thinking that everything is for my enjoyment they are not at all thinking like that the gorshandar shiksha has to come katha without hearing that without uh, listening to that without understanding that whatever in the tarpan with full sense gratification mood if he is doing definitely he will be he will be just to be listening uh, doing the naam sankirtan under the guidance of gurudev 
only then it is possible to understand the six ashtakam bhakti no thakur and uh, prabhupad everyone that is the vichar what i have told you now but now trinadapi sunichin this we will be discussing already have uh, discussed this point and uh, in the fourth shlok mahaprabhu is speaking so this shloka you just understand this very carefully that it will just be uh, increasing our sambandh gyan the first actually shloka whatever is my sunit what is my situation and what is the situation of this material world and apart from hari naam nothing is there in the second shloka it is written that we should we have don't have any ruchi in hari naam because not of anartha there inside my heart and my dudarva and my luck is very ill that i am not at all getting any anurag in hari naam and whole power is there in hari naam but still my ruchi is not there in hari naam and by how we have to do hari naam that vastav actual hari naam can get on to our tank and we we have already told this this third shloka already discussed that and in the fourth shloka it is written it means whenever there inside our heart this kind of devi maya we are just speaking to mother durga in chandi part it is written everything you just give me uh, you just uh, rectify my situation everything you give me but this this kind of prayer is not for devotees whatever is the nakedness of this whole material world it will come in front of us when we are just oh krishna you give me this you just kill my enemy everything you give me like this whatever there is uh, unhappiness and distressfulness you just remove that and give me material happiness if they are all the time going to haridwar and going there and every time they are speaking like this all the time they are they are just praying to bhagwan like this every time this uh, praying is there hmm. and happiness should go away and all the riches and money and should come to our house and jay jagadish hare <laughs> so what is this new point but mahaprabhu the ma- the vichar of mahaprabhu it is very revolting it is revolting vichar no sampraday has this kind of uh, <coughs> thinking that these kind of rules of mahaprabhu they can just uh, follow these strict rules and regular if he is of child of a father they are doing according to their own sampraday this kind of bhajan they are doing this is not a thing but uh, when to get pratishtha in this vichar of mahaprabhu it is very impossible but still possible he jagadish he jagannath i i don't want any kind of uh, money position and nice woman from you inside my heart there is only one prayer there is only one desire inside my heart that uh, by birth after birth i should get a hai to ki bhakti on your lotus feet that i should get that i have to be bhakti that is my only prayer on your lotus feet all the time the shlok which i have already started with that is a very topmost shlok tulsidas ji actually there is one very topmost uh, devotee of south india that uh, at your lotus feet my that uh, my mind like a hans that should go because whatever your lotus feet is there all the time i'm just remembering that ਆ ਪ੍ਰਾਣ ਜਾਣੇ ਦਾ ਸਮਾਂ ਹੈ 
and when my at at the time of my death when my at the time of death because whole time whole uh, whole life i haven't done any kind of bhajan they will become disbalanced that my my vocal cords are just becoming uh, uh are not at all working at that time at the time of death so what to do krishna at that time my vocal cords are my situation is getting bad i can't speak i can't remember my mind is out of order so like that it is speaking they are speaking that i haven't done your bhajan but still this desire is there to do bhajan this is my des- uh, prayer onto lotus feet this kind of desire is there also lotus feet mahaprabhu has also done this kind of prayer that uh, swayam bhagwan himself but still he is uh, showing us how to pray in front of krishna hey jagadishwar that i don't want any kind of material woman uh, money position nothing i am asking i am just asking you one thing this is my only prayer that birth by birth i should get a hai to ki bhakti on to your lotus feet that should go on to my inside my heart that should manifest inside my heart that is my only prayer whether you are uh, uh, knowing you are thinking about this or not but still kul shekhar at the lotus feet of krishna that uh, king kul shekhar is speaking and mahaprabhu also speaking and apart from that there is no word there is no point that is the actual uh, masala of bhajan that is the actual uh, masala of bhajan if you will just leave that and nothing will uh, remain in bhajan that on to a lotus feet i should get that a hai to ki bhakti this is my only prayer sila sachidanand bhakti nath thakur in bhajan rahasya has done one kirtan regarding this that he has just given one kirtan what he has written you just need to do this kirtan this corresponding shlok what i am shlo giving you in front of you in this kirtan definitely it is very important to discuss this gurudev always used to speak that this is not kirtan this power is there in the inside that kirtan this whatever the mahajans bani is there what they are speaking the words they have that power inside that if someone is actually disrespecting that then knowingly or unknowingly he will everything will get destroyed everything will get destroyed in his life if someone these kind of kirtan or oh, what to do kirtan like this? i have already as i have just gone into jalandhar i don't want to speak his name he they have just called me i am actually not going on myself someone has called me there in jalandhar one place and shila bharti maharaj also was there at that time very long before maybe 16 years before i went there and there they that rich man actually just made one uh, point that we will be doing some kirtan and uh, someone speaking that hari katha should be there no 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 only kirtan is okay hari katha is not required is very difficult to understand what they will actually speak actually we can't understand okay kirtan is good we we just want kirtan means this kind of which are they have ban uh, hari katha who will actually hear maharaj no what he is speaking we can't understand what he can see the what what you are speaking maharaj they can't understand what is speaking oh kirtan is okay it's so, means that kirtan they all father grandfather all understand is kirtan if i will just speak one kirtan they can't even uh, make one meaning of kirtan that is the top top most wasteful condition that is the top most wasteful for them like yam kirtan they used to do at the time of kirtan they are just dancing 
but this is one kind of distressful kirtan all kind mahaprabhu just getting uh, the uh, uh, they are everyone is in a gyan nobody knows but they are dancing in that in that virhe kirtan so bhakti mata thakur just told that this kirtan yes you do it will be good Just get her. So he is actually just doing all the kind of uh, 
uh, operations to get her what he has done that uh, one creeper is just like a rope he is just taking it and it is very much uh, up he has just uh, fall down from there suddenly so big voice just came that chintamani said from where this voice is coming and after that just taking the lantern she just uh, came in front of that and she uh, see that she shilan mission is there with a unconscious mood she is there and how he has come there up he says so he saw that he has just taken the tail of a snake and is just uh, 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 came down on the ground fell down on the ground after that when he just become conscious after some time then chintamani has given has such a loud voice he is speaking that he just become so much embarrassed after that that you have so much attraction for me if you have this much attraction a little bit for bhagwan then definitely you will get bhagwan tulsi das also in the same situation we have already heard this kind of thing has happened that we have from their own sampradaya their sampradaya we have heard that tulsi das ji at the birthplace of tulsi das ji have gone a lot of time after kaskanj you just need to go to go to shukar khetra i have just heard from them that tulsi das ji has has so much attraction for her wife that wife actually just went to some place had to her to her house she went at the house of her father and uh, tulsi das ji can't stay he actually all rainfall cyclone conditions were there but still after that he just went to meet her wife in that conditions so you see when actually just uh, open her door open the door when she saw that are in this condition he has come and then where there i also heard that this kind of that wife has just spoken after that whole vairagya just came inside the whether it's a, it's a leela only he is actually not a bonded soul tulsi das ji but still he has done a leela like this after that he has just he has just diverted his life whole life and after that he hasn't went to that path he hasn't went to her wife so this is the situation if this kind of attraction we are getting on to the lotus feet of ramchandra definitely definitely you must have get ramchandra up till that one but you don't get this kind of attack and after that his whole life is diverted okay after that he just become surprised and his whole life is changed so chintamani is shloka dara kabhi kabhi by this shloka samban is actually speaking he is a vaishya is a prostitute but here it is in the commentary this chintamani is bhagwan himself so this others are also making this kind of meaning also so they are speaking they are just giving the uh, respect to shiksha guru okay it's good so whatever uh, attraction is to uh, our towards the material things this kind of attraction if we are getting towards bhagwan then that is that the randi bhikshuk that so much attraction is there for the material things on material money and power after that bhagwan has taken everything from him uh, taken away everything from him bhagwan has told himself that those uh, i want to do kripa on him i am actually first whatever is there whatever false ego is there with him everything i will take that up i will take away from him those i am just doing kripa on him i am taking everything whatever this uh, vishay of false ego is there everything i will remove that first this actually here trigandi bhikshuk has inside his heart just uh, uh, realizing this point that whatever attraction i was there for these material things from up till now now you see what is the point so he has just shown like this so these kind of material things these examples are so straight that it is very easy to understand that bishwaiji 
like sometimes you can just see sometimes this our guru work and our commentators and mahaprabhu also i will just give one two examples so that you can understand why mahaprabhu has just spoken this point why what is the reason but mahaprabhu has just given such an example that this is one kind of revolution revolting siddhant someone can also uh, can criticize this why mahaprabhu is speaking like this mahaprabhu actually speaking no that whatever it is written there why this kind of example mahaprabhu speaking it is just by externally it is very bad example just like a ramani she is actually very bad character she is actually she is doing seva of her child and her husband a lot but her mind and heart it's going towards the other other person when he will get when she will get out when i will just be getting rid of them and when i'll be doing all kind of uh, uh, lust will that my rolly already spoken that yesterday i told that servant oh everything is lie everything is lie everything is lie yes it is definitely there but uh, if you, there are lot of examples regarding this like rup go swami pad has just told what jadavadi mama mano krishna padar bindu nava nava rasat yamarantu masi tadavadi pato nari sangam smarjamane shushta nischivanancha mukh vikar bhavati patana solde told who told rup go swami bada stol that up till that point my heart is not going on to the lotus feet of krishna and the current of that flow of krishna naam i am just t- taking i am just when i am just hearing the name of a female it's just like i am feeling very much distressful shankaracharya also has written this the same thing maybe th- by externally you can see that it is a very bad example but still it is good and whatever example or more examples i can give uh, like uh, ब्रह्म संहिता वन बुक अनदर बुक महाप्रभु हैज टेकन दिस कृष्ण करनामृत श्रीलन मिश्रा हैज जस्ट टेकन दिस बुक्स विद्वान मंगल ठाकुर रचित महाप्रभु हैज टेकन दिस बुक महाप्रभु हैज जस्ट टेकन दिस काइंड ऑफ टेकिंग रसा ऑफ दिस बुक इन अ वेरी साइलेंट प्लेस दिस इन दिस ग्रंथ आल्सो इट इज रिटन in this book also in this granth also it is written that they are speaking mahaprabhu speaking in rai raman samvar during rai raman samvar like amish amish like meat flesh you amish you know non veg like lot of people have having, having attraction to eat those flesh the people who are feeling attraction towards eating flesh that kind of attraction if they that 1% attraction if they are getting on to lotus feet of bhagwan then they will become top most rich this is the actual example what ma'am from that is the actual example so okay that is a na- bhakti mon thakur also speaking this point रघुनाथ दास गोस्वामी पाद हिज फादर एंड हिज एंड हिज बिग बिग ब्रदर ऑफ हिज फादर इन दोस दोस टू पर्सन हैव सो मच अट्रैक्शन टू वर्ड्स मटीरियल थिंग्स एंड रघुनाथ दास गोस्वामी हैज जस्ट ऑपोजिट
we are actually in order to uh, make us understand this point that's why they are speaking and this kind of priti if i will get all kind of uh, difficulties and whatever a uh, lot of money is coming like kunti devi is lukunti devi speaking that uh, actual uh, uh, difficulty will start now krishna bhagwan speaking actually uh, uh, whatever all the problems are everything rectified now now you can just uh, uh, stay very easily now kunti devi speaking now now actual difficulties will start today what, what you are speaking krishna speaking what you are speaking yes yes today difficulties will start today because whatever raj part and money position fame whatever you given i just everything want to give on to lotus feet of you krishna so bhakti no thakur realization you can see so nice realization bhakti no thakur has has just shown us in vipad also and in sampad in good and bad condition every time i just want to remember you and it's not like that slowly and steadily i should get this should go on increasing by the grace of hari naam because when definitely we will be doing more hari naam that prema will also get increased and prem will definitely attract you towards that infinity absolute truth that which is endless ocean of priti and prem mahaprabhu has already told in bengali it is written in chaitanya charitamrit that maturity there is no space of there is no accommodation for that to get maturity but still it's not like that there actually there is no place for any other accommodation but still it is increasing so bhakti no thakur has just written this kind of bhav and the last thing is whether i am in the birds whether i am beast whether i am in the heaven or whether i am staying in the hell it is not a problem for me it doesn't matter what you do that your bhakti should be there all the time in said my heart that whatever sansar chakra i am getting into this sansar chakra whatever will happen it will happen but uh, whether i am in the body of a uh, heaven or hell or in the body of a bird or a beast but that bhakti should stay inside my heart oh krishna that top mot ahetu ki bhakti should be there inside my heart all the time that should be there maintained all the time this kind of prayer i have on to lotus feet after that there is another shlok from bhagwat ji mahapuran they are speaking that uh, previous uh, whatever mahaprabhu one two third three shlok i have already spoke speaking bhakti no thakur is just uh, taking one kind of each and every every uh, proof from bhagwat ji mahapuran also by for ekanti ki hai to ki bhakti from bhagwat ji mahapuran is taking sukhdev goswami speaking this point this shloka with full concentration we just need to hear and we have to do kirtan of bhagwan and we have to do smaran of bhagwan all the time that kind of thing is speaking in front of us those human civilization the top most benefit for them said the top most uh, fruit the result of that dharma is that to do hari kirtan all the time in order to get this inside our mind material mind and heart this kind of slog we just need to realize what that's why they are speaking all the time 
with a very silent mood and peaceful mood. Whatever dharma, kama, moksha, this kind of vancha, without them, without the desire of dharma, art, kama, moksha inside your heart, all those devotees, we just need to follow those topmost devotees. And this Bhagwan, Shri Hari, we just need to uh, do the shravan, kirtan, and smaran, puja, everything. We just need to worship that of Bhagwan. That is very much essential in our life to do that. All the time it is very essential to do. After that, there is a, this shlok, there is what is the actual meaning of this shlok. Bhakti Thakurji is just giving us the actual meaning of this shloka. What is written? With Ananya Bhav, when you are just doing Shraman, Kirtan, Smaran of Bhagwan and all qualities, characteristics, and you are doing Harinam of Bhagwan all the time, then with that Krishna Anand inside your heart, and all the time with that, all the unearth, uh, you just make pr- uh, procedure to just remove your unearth and just uh, getting that Bhakti Lata beach, that seed, definitely that fruit will come sprout sprout up in, th- in that Bhakti. Uh, in that bhakti tree definitely will get slowly steadily what kind of brahma lok swarg lok whatever is there there are lot of shlokas regarding this as well shankar bhagwan ji has uh, already told us this point i will definitely be speaking tomorrow that shankar bhagwan is actually speaking to devi parvati that devi you have just given uh, this uh, shrap this uh, uh, to chitragetu raja you have just given a shrap to Chitragetu, but still you see the magic. He also has this power to do shrap, but still he hasn't given that to you. But this kind of shrap, he is actually taking it as a benefit for himself. He is actually with Hastanjali, that he is just taking it in a very positive mood. Why? You see what kind of mood is there. Whether he in heaven or whether in hell, the devotee is not at all thinking anything about that. In this kind of vishay, uh, from Bhagavad Gita Mahapuran, there are a lot of examples regarding this. If I give one example, then definitely you can understand that there it is written about the devotees, the topmost Brahmalok and uh, Rasadi Patya in the Rasatal. That we are getting ashd, ashd, eight siddhi of yogas, whatever there is there, it is for devotees. That is very, very normal thing for devotees. In the life of devotee, it is a very, very cheap thing. Very normal thing for them. Very cheap for them. That's why in Bhagavad Gita Mahapuran, there are some uh, proofs are there. Bhakti Thakur has just given us. In the seventh canto about Vritrasur, it's Vritrasur speaking. This Vratrasur actually just making prayer on the lotus feet of Hari that Ho Sarbhum Nidhe I am I don't want to leave I don't want any Drumlog I am not taking any Brahmapad I am not actually taking any kind of topmost uh, opulence of this earth I am not asking from you that absolute sovereignty I am not asking Vastu Ashta Siddhi Anuma Lagima 
Even I am not asking moksha as well from you. I don't have this desire to ask. I have this prayer on your lotus feet. You see. This actually, this support Bhakti Mata Thakur has in this support has given this shloka. And after that, from the eleventh canto, Bhakti Mata Thakur, what I always always used to speak that shloka sometimes. This example Bhakti Mata Thakur gave you. Bhakti is such a such an object. If that bhakti, when bhakti is there inside our heart, that par isho anubhav, that realization, other kind of material things, you will not be feeling attraction for them at all. Definitely, like a person actually has not taken food from very long time. But still, he is doing bhajan. He is actually by taking that food. He has just kind of uh, by taking food. He is getting all the nourishment inside his body. Oh, I am getting food like this. He is getting that feeling. So with that, whatever who is actually uh, f- not getting food from long time, he is getting nourished. That nourishment of body is getting after taking food, and he is feeling very good after taking some food. And everything will be done after that. All he will getting re- good uh, happiness. He'll be feeling happy, and everything is done automatically when his hunger is removed. So this actually is written. Automatically everything will be done. That's why Sharnagat Purush, who have given everything onto lotus feet of Bhagwan, Jivan, whatever is there, he has given everything. His life, that Sharnagat devotee, everything in his bhajan kal at the time of bhajan, all all the thing is prem lakshana bhakti and that swarup siddhi and everything that where again everything will get manifested automatically. You don't need to make it. Artificially, automatically it will be done. Automatically it will be done. So this kind of Sharnagat Mahapurush is doing in the bhajan kal in that at the time of bhajan, all prem lakshana bhakti and the swarup sufurti of Bhagwan that the darshan of Bhagwan swarup and uh, whatever uh, viragya is there, uh, topmost viragya will definitely come automatically, naturally. So this Vairagya, this Vairagya it is called Vidya, that is not Avidya. But Mayavadi, that Vidya of Mayavadi, that is called Avidya. That's why Sarvam Bhattacharya actually speaking. So like this, as Sarvam Bhattacharya praying in front of Mahaprabhu. Bhakti Mata Thakur has just uh, uh, given the summary of this shloka. Like when we are not calling, like at when we are not calling distressfulness, distressfulness will come automatically in our life. Unhappiness will come automatically in our life. That Kunti Devi, apart from that, nobody is asking this. That in my life, all distressfulness should come. Give me barriers in my life, unhappiness in my life. Kunti Devi speaking. So those without this unhappiness will come automatically without calling. So in a gradual course of time, happiness will automatically come also in their life. And in these whole 14 worlds, 
that the top most rarest treasure of krishna bhakti in order to get that treasure that intelligent persons have just given all their life have just sacrificed their whole life for that bhajan krishna bhajan and they apart from them they don't need anything they need bhagwan only they need lotus feet of bhagwan in chaitanya charitamrit also it is written about this point about this point it is written in chaitanya charitamrit everything mahaprabhu has just uh, given in chaitanya charitamrit it is written krishna mahaprabhu swayam bhagwan is swayam bhagwan swayam krishna himself he is actually propagating shuddha bhakti he has he is actually just uh, what is the uh, praying in front of krishna himself the, about shuddha bhakti premer swabhav jaha prem sambandho sei mane krishna mor nahi bhakti gand prem ka swabhav hai that prem is the natural swabhava prem is that where there is prema definitely definitely prem will be there where there is relationship of prem whether you are be hiding that prem but still it will not get hide but this kind of uh, bhakti i don't have any smell of krishna bhakti to lotus feet of krishna i don't have that smell also this krishna das kaviraj goswami in each and every vichar of mahaprabhu has just manifested in front of us hey jagadish hey jagadish in the explanation the commentary he is writing he is writing hey jagadish i don't want any kind of material fame position woman anything i don't want at all birth by birth you are actually i am your sevak and you are my sevya vastu and in my life all the time that nice boy lot of they are lot of people are just making a different uh, vyakhya of this whatever is written in the vedas about sundar kavita the lot different kind of lucrative offers sundari kavita means in the gita it is written pushpita vacha ha in the vedas bhagwan is actually just speaking about this pushpita vacha mean means that all kind of lucrative offers dharma arth kaam whatever is there these are sundira kavita it comes in this category and uh, those kind of all money position fame everything lucrative offered in order to just enjoy them definitely it is just considered like this and uh, and whatever wife children dhan jan means whatever wife relative children what you are getting that husband this is the actual magic of sanskrit language you see tara when you are actually to your wife you are actually asking her tara suk that kalatra when you are speaking that is called stri linga you see one word what is the actual characteristic that according to that his ling is just getting established so whatever is there stri and by speaking why that is stri ling but if one word has so much meaning you see kalatra janam that is kalatra word is there pota poti relatives wife children mother whatever is they are coming in this maharaj actually i will be coming to you they are speaking but they don't have this kind of uh, uh, power to come in front of me normal things they can't live but they are thinking that they will come to me how they can live that this is a natural pravritti they will definitely in reverse they will do aparad so sundir kavita means in the vedas whatever those all kind of lucrative offers there in the vedas you when you will be doing this you will get that you will go there you will doing that this kind of lucrative offer you just need to throw only dharma arth kaam moksha all these kind of four paramarth uh, purusharth dharma arth kaam bhakti mukti ye mera 
दिस दिस इज नॉट ऑल दिस इज नॉट माई टारगेट दिस दिस इज नॉट माई टारगेट एट ऑल टू गेट दैट डेफिनेटली आई डोंट वॉन्ट दैट दैट नॉट एट ऑल आई डोंट वॉन्ट दैट इन रिवर्स इफ समन इज एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग दैट that uh, i will just be taking you to a uh, place where there is no uh, place of birth and that i don't want that also the chatur varna that whatever the things they want the root cause of that of the chatur varna chatur varna ashram i just want to just i don't want to get into your seva in the chatur varga whatever lucrative offers are there i don't want that at all the only seva i just want to do that that is my actual uh, uh, target why i have to do your seva just uh, just for your seva only i just need to do your seva so that uh, why do i have to do uh, to do bhakti at a lotus feet i just need bhakti that's why i am doing bhakti at a lotus feet so definitely i'll be speaking it tomorrow about this point that this uh, bilva mangal thakur i will already already told this point very beautifully that kul shekhar ji about that i have just given the point regarding this as well nasta dharme navasuni chaye naiv kaam hoge jat jat bhav jat jat bhavam bhavatu bhagwan purv karman roopam etat patham mamo bahumatam janma janmantar yopi tatpadam tatpadam do ruho jugavata nishchala bhakti ras information 
that this is not in the ordinary book that's why you don't have this information from other uh, uh, granth i am just talking so with the rai mahesh swarup the mother is there and in a very silent place in gambira temple is all the time just busy in uh, tasting rasa transcendental rasa and all the time in this karnamrit while just reading this krishna karnamrit mahabrabhu always used to speak to rai mahesh that uh, rai mahesh is speaking himself that uh, rai mahesh what you are actually doing this granth this is not uh, it is not one kind of writing that bilva mangal thakur his is direct feeling direct realization mahaprabhu speaking this in front of rai mahashe that rai mahashe this is the poet actually this is not the writing of that poet that is the actual direct feeling otherwise this kind of representation this of bhav is not at all possible it is impossible to represent the bhav like this so much actually glorification is doing and also king kul shekar also the uh, that writing is very top most here it is written oh krishna that in dharm i don't have any kind of belief land property etc i don't have any uh, um, greed for that believe for that but still everything i have to live in that hari katha also i have just spoken that uh, all both the kings were just uh, fighting with each other for that land that prithvi devi that maya devi just be laughing that our prithvi devi started laughing ha ha who is land is this who has this kind of adhikar that they can take me nobody i am i am under nobody guidance lot of king have just gone into water lot of kings have just gone from duryodhan from rai nahus lot of kings have just gone into water but only their name is there in the 12th canto it is written only their name has just remained there everyone has gone nobody is there nobody has remained everyone only his name is there that's it that's it so that's why all cutting fighting murder oh it's mine it's my dad like this everything is going on nowadays so so the poet actually speaking that lot of uh, stories there behind that i will definitely be speaking in harikatha that kul shekhar ji is uh, so so much uh, attraction for bhagwan he has why because he already seen practically that those people i have just done lot of thing they are all fraudsters that why all queens and uh, all all are fraudsters all prime minister every everyone is fraudster our bharti maharaj always used to speak one story i i definitely be speaking to uh, some day and after that what happened he just got a clear view that uh, what is life nothing is there in this material world he just has got this clear realization inside his heart proper speaking that people are just getting into this current of material things but but those who are just that material vastu that enjoying mood for those material things those things are which are not at all good for you you are getting attracted towards those things to enjoy those enjoying things those materialistic enjoy things that the swarup when you will get to understand that automatically you will just leave that enjoying mode you will just get that heinous bhav inside your mind that oh ho oh, this is maya actually i don't want that at all this kind of thing this is actually the prabhav of maya effect of maya so very strange thing it is to understand when you will get that enjoying bhog swarup that you will just get the swarup of that enjoying mode then you will just be spitting on that but this is not at all happening that is the actual effect of maya definitely tomorrow i will be just showing you that how
डेफिनेटली आई बी टॉकिंग इट टूमोरो कुलशेखर जी किंग कुलशेखर स्पीकिंग when you are just thinking all kind of material things with so 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 down so fallen things are there in this material thing but still it is important to hear all these things it is very important to hear all these things when you are getting in all these material things then nothing will happen for them it is not for those people they can't understand this point so much amrit so much nectar is there for that so when we will be just thinking about this point that this is nothing all these actually material things are nothing so this kind of shloka i will be just discussing it tomorrow and today i will be just uh, giving rest today up till this point you just forgive me